Hello, everyone. Last night, my colleague Natalie Khalaf and I ran the third monthly webinar. And we are going through the chakra system and we are relating the human energy field to the psychological impact that it has on us as we grow, which involves forming our belief system and our emotional response pattern. So last night we reached the heart chakra and it is more than just the heart chakra because the heart center is also the center of universal love. We spoke about unconditional love, gratitude, how to do it, when can you, or when are you unable to do it? So any result, um, any trauma in the past will result on impinging and blocking the heart center. What is special about the heart center is that it brings together all the other chakras. So the bottom three chakras are known as the ego because they formulate our character as we grow up, as we try to rise and evolve. And the top three chakras also relate to our consciousness, to the higher mind, not only to the personal mind. They meet in the heart center. The symbol for the heart chakra in the yogic tradition is two triangles, an ascending triangle and a descending triangle. And when they meet, they form a six pointed star with a dot at the center. So the heart center brings or connects the higher realm, the invisible realm, if you like, the consciousness, the spiritual aspect of the self with the personal aspect of the self. So when we say you live authentically from the heart, it is truly that you will live from your authentic self. In other words, you will be in connection, you will be in contact or in deep connection with your true feelings. And I spoke about the difference between emotions and feelings. After the webinar, we had a breakout private Zoom meeting where all the participants started asking questions. And one of the things that we talked about is grief and dealing with grief. Something that probably hit many of us this year because of the pandemic. So if you haven't joined us yesterday, please, you can watch the replay and please leave any comments, any questions on YouTube and we will answer them. Tomorrow, Thursday, we will repeat the webinar in Arabic. If you are able to join again, if you speak Arabic, that is, you're welcome to do so. And we both, Natalie and I, look forward to seeing you next month for our fourth webinar. Stay well. Bye-bye for now.